hello guys welcome to another tutorial today we'll be learning how to install and set up your crowdsec block list mirror so if you don't know what um crowdsec block list mirror is crowdsec block list mirror is a is an add-on or a part of crowdsec that you can install and provide or deploy crowdsec's active decisions or block list over HTTP endpoints um, using predefined formats so you can use them on your firewalls such as um, block list. So if you set up a crowdsec block list mirror, um, you can have this set up in a way that if you have a firewall such as PFSense or FortiGate that supports block list using an HTTP endpoint, you can set that up so your firewall can retrieve those lists of block IP addresses and block um, or make decisions based on the list from CrowdSet at the firewall level. So um, this is pretty straightforward. We can do this in three ways. You can either install block list using um, Ubuntu packages. You can do it, use it using Docker, or you can do a manual installation via a script. But for this video today, we'll be installing CrowdSec block list using um, Ubuntu packages, okay? So in order for us to do this, the first thing we wanna do is add CrowdSec to our Ubuntu machines Linux repository. So we're gonna run this call command and mind you, I have all these commands pasted in the description section below, so you can just copy and paste. Um, so once you run the call command, that's gonna add the CrowdSec repo onto your Ubuntu machine if you don't already have that added, okay? And once that's added, it is gonna also run an apt get update to make sure that everything was added successfully. So once that's done, the next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and install the CrowdSec block list mirror. So for this setup, we already have a CrowdSec local API server, which is going to give us an API key and serve us with a block list. Um, if you don't already have a CrowdSec local API server, what you can do is you can install CrowdSec. To run CrowdSec you, or to install CrowdSec, you're just going to run the command sudo apt install CrowdSec, and that's going to take you through the installation and get you install CrowdSec. But this is a follow-up of the past videos that we've made on CrowdSec. So I'm assuming you already have CrowdSec installed, okay? Um, so we're gonna go ahead and run the installation command for the block list mirror. So you run the command sudo apt install CrowdSec block list mirror. I'm using sudo here because I'm currently logged into my Ubuntu machine or SSH into my Ubuntu machine as a non-privileged user. If you're running this as root, you don't need the sudo, okay? So we're gonna do that in CrowdSec or CrowdSec block list mirror is gonna be installed on our machine. Already have that installed, so yours may take a little bit of time to install. Just follow the prompts and get it installed. So once you have that installed, the most important part here is to set up um, your CrowdSec block list mirror. So to set that up, we need to use a text editor such as Nano and access the CrowdSec block list mirror config file, which is in Etsy, CrowdSec, Bouncers, CrowdSec dash block list dash mirror dot YAML. So once you open that file, there's a few things we need to change here. First of all, um, the two most important things you need to change is your local API key and your local API URL. Um, if you just got this installed for your URL, you're going to have 127.0.0.1. That means um, your CrowdSec security engine, the main component, is currently running on the same machine. So. For most of you who have that running on the same machine, that's fine, you can leave it at that. But since this is a continuation of our multi-server setup, I have a remote local API server, um, and the IP address is 10.100.20.25, okay? You have to have that set up in there 
and then we're going to obtain an API key, which I already have one obtained, but I'm going to show you guys how to get that um, from our local API server. So now that we're talking about that, we're just going to go ahead and do that. Okay. So once we head over here, this is my local API server. We're going to run the command CSCLI bounces add and then followed by the name of the key or by a friendly name for the key that we want to use for our CrowdSec um, block list mirror. So in this case, we're just going to call it test mirror. And once you run that, CrowdSec is going to give you an API key. So you can copy that API key, head back over to your configuration file and you paste that API key in there. So once you have that API key pasted, we're going to go ahead and explain some of these in here and what you might need to change. Um, so first of all, um, I'm going to change the listening URI to um, 0 .0 0.0.0.0. That just means that CrowdSec is going to listen or the CrowdSec block list mirror is going to receive or allow external connections for the block list for any IP addresses or all interfaces on this specific Ubuntu machine. I'm also going to remove the port 41412 because I want it to just serve um, the you serve the data over HTTP. If you were already using port 80, then you can leave that 41412. But this is a dedicated machine for the block list mirror. So I just want it to be 80. I don't want no other weird ports. If you wanted to use HTTPS, which is port 443, you're going to have to provide a certificate file and a certificate key. Okay. But we're not going to do that for this video because this will be running internally. So. We don't have anything to change. You can change um, the log location if you wanted to. You can change the max size and the max age. Okay. Another thing um, you can change in here is you can include um, scenarios, specific scenarios into the block list mirror file, or you can exclude them. Okay. Um, you can serve the block list in three different or two different formats. You can do plain text, which is what is going to work for FortiGate um, firewalls, which is what we're going to do today. We're going to actually set this up on a FortiGate firewall. The same with PFSense. If you're using something like Microtech or Microtech, you want to use put that option. So, but the default is plain text. And then the endpoint is going to be security dash block list you can change this to whatever you like it doesn't really matter but i'll leave everything as default um, if you wanted to serve or, or enforce authentication um crowdsec mirror supports none which is what we currently have it at now so anyone who has this ip address of this machine and this endpoint can access our block list mirror um, you can restrict it by ip based so you can put a specific ip only that ip will be able to access the block list mirror and you can do basic http authentication which is going to require a username and a password you can also set trusted ips and so forth if you don't require authentication so in this case if we have it set to none you can put trusted ip so only that ips have access but we're just going to leave everything as default and you want to save that once you save that the next thing you want to do is actually enable the crowdsec block list mirror and you also want to start the service okay so we're going to do this by running the command sudo systemctl enable followed by crowdsec block list mirror and we're going to do the same command but we'll change the enable to start and then we can check if the service actually started with no errors by running um, systemctl status um, crowdsec block list mirror and you can see if we did everything right and correct our crowdsec block list mirror has been successfully started so here we're going to head over to a browser and then we're going to go into 
the IP address of that server. You can see we added the, um, we are just using HTTP um, and then followed by the endpoint. So the endpoint is what we have in here. You can change that to anything, but we're just going to leave it at default and um, press enter. And now you can see this is a long list of blocked IP addresses from CrowdSec. So this is everything. As CrowdSec updates um, the block list, this is also going to be updated. Um, you can change the update frequency to every one minute, 30 minutes, one day, and so forth. But if you have a multi-server setup that gets um, detects specific um, malicious IP addresses based on the CrowdSec um, sensors that you've installed on your machine, you might want to leave this at default for 10 seconds. So every time an IP address is blocked, it is automatically added to this list and then that gets added to your firewall. So now that we've done the main part of setting up our CrowdSec um, mirror block list, the next thing we're going to do is head over to our firewall and have this set up. So like I said, we're going to be using FortiGate. So I'm going to log in here. And once you're logged into your FortiGate, you want to head over to Security Fabric and you want to head over to External Connectors. So here we're going to create a new one and then we're going to select IP address. So under thread feeds, you want to select IP address. And for here, we're going to input the name. So we're just going to call this CrowdSec Miro. And then you're going to enter the URI. Uh, so we're just going to select that block list. Okay. And we don't have any authentication, so we're gonna turn that off. And then refresh rate, we're gonna, yeah, leave that to five minutes. You can put it to one if you want it, but I'll leave that to five. And then we're gonna select, okay. So once you do that, just gonna, it may take some time for it to uh, synchronize. You can hit the refresh button and give it some time. You can see we get a tick. A green check which says everything is fine you can see we have currently 40,548 entries we can view the entries and um, it's going to populate here and we can see all the IP addresses um, some other options you can do or you can set up with this scenario or the CrowdSec um, mirror block list you can specify um, only IPv4 IP addresses or IPv6 IP addresses on the URI. So for example, on the block list, we can do a question mark followed by IPv4 only, and that's only gonna show us IPv4 ad addresses. You can do the same for IPv6, and that's only gonna show us IPv6 IP addresses. So that's also gonna be helpful if you if your environment only supported ipv4 ip addresses no need to get everything you can specify in here for your fortigate to get only those ipv4 addresses from the list okay and that's still going to work so if you have a like a pf sense this is still going to work for that if you have like palo alto this is still going to work for that as well so this brings us to the end of this video. Um, I hope this helped you understand how to set up and install the CrowdSec block list mirror. Um, if you have any questions, do not hesitate to leave it down in the comment section below or you can head over to um, the Geek Together Hub. Um, please like the channel, subscribe and share.